welcome back to From Bits to Bots. In this episode, we're going to talk about digital and analog control values. We live in an analog world. Everything we experience from sound to light to color and texture, it's all variable. Not everything feels the same softness or is the same brightness outside. Your computer, however, functions based on digital inputs. So it's all ones and zeros. It's on and off, high and low. In the previous video, we saw some examples of digital LED controls in that our light could be turned on or off using a switch, simple on or off, high, low. Even once we added in our multicolored LED, the values were still digital. We could only move from one color to the next and never move backwards or find a value in between those two sets of colors. Today, we'll talk about controlling those analog values using a potentiometer, your serial monitor, and a few sensors. I want to pause for a moment though and say if you want more information, more in-depth explanation of how graphing digital and analog information works, uh, there are tons of resources out there on the internet, not this video. I use Jeremy Bloom's uh, Exploring Arduino Guide. It's a book. It's great. Um, I'll put a link to it in the comments if you're interested in it. Um, it's also where I get a lot of the diagrams that I use in this series. Um, but another great resource is just the Arduino Project Hub, uh, as well as lots of different YouTube videos. Um, we'll, we'll kind of walk through how that works. So let's jump into using a potentiometer, which is basically just a fancy way of describing an adjustable knob like the one in your kit. I've got mine put here, and I'm going to show you first what this finished product looks like of the build so that you can see what it looks like and you understand then when we switch to the screen what I'm talking about. So you can see here, if I turn this knob, I can turn the light down, and then if I turn it, I can turn the light up. So I can control the brightness of the knob or of the light by turning this knob. Our setup this week is not quite as complicated as what we looked at last week in terms of the number of wires and the number of uh, resistors that we add to the system. However, it's one that I, I still think needs some explaining. And when you're looking at it live on the dot cam, it looks kind of messy because the wires are all over. So I've included this diagram here as well as the code that I used on screen. Um, feel free to look at those and use those how you need to. We've basically got two different circuits going here, one for our light and one for our potentiometer. Um, they're connected, obviously, otherwise they wouldn't be able to control one another. But uh, we've got a loop here that connects our pin to or our LED to pin 9 and using a resistor, others going to ground. And then we've got our potentiometer here, which is connected to A0, analog 0, which is important when we get into our code, as well as then our power here. So A0 is our analog pin that we are using, and pin 9 is our LED pin, input pin, output pin, sorry, that we're using um, in this code. Our code then is very simple. We have to declare a couple different values, however. First, we have to declare um, that we have our, our output pin in pin 9. Um, we also are declaring our read and LED values, our, our starting values of 0. Um, and that's important because when we then go into uh, figuring out what we're connecting our analog pin to, we have to know where we're starting and where we go to. So um, then we get into our, our code and we've got our pin mode set up so that we know our pin is our, our pin 9 is our output. And our loop code here is very simple. It's only three lines. It's saying we want to read the analog value that comes from A0. So read this. Um, if this changes, then we want to chit, then um, we want that to be, we want anything that changes to be based off of what we read there. Um, then what we want to change is we want to change uh, our LED value. So we want it to map somewhere between that initial zero um, all the way up to uh, 123, which is the highest that our Arduinos can can register. Um, and then you've got a few other uh, numbers in here that help just define that range. Finally, your third line is your analog write or what you want it to do. You want that, you want it to write the value uh, of the LED pin, meaning you want that pin to change value there. So um, the LED value that we established initially is zero. 
um, we then want to change based off of the input of the other things. Like I said, this is a pretty straightforward setup with pretty simple code. There's no if-else statements or functions, and using a potentiometer is great. But what if you don't want to manually control your input and instead want to measure it using a sensor of some sort? That could be a light sensor, a heat sensor, distance sensor, or, or any other way to measure your input. Additionally, what if you want a different output? You don't just want to change the brightness of a light and instead want to give some sort of sound or vibration response to your user. All of these are variables which you can play with using the different tools in your kit or by buying things online. One of the original videos Project Invent put out to show how to build a very simple nightlight was using a photoreceptor, which took in the amount of light that it was measuring and then had that control the light that was put out from the LED. Here's an example of what that nightlight could look like. All right, so if you're following along and want to complete this week's challenge, send us a video of you using a sensor or potentiometer to control analog values. You can find us on Twitter at, and Instagram at project underscore invent, or just leave a comment below. I've also included affiliate links in the description for schematics and resources I used in this video. Looking forward to seeing what you build. See you next time when we talk about controlling motors on From Bits to Bots.